Hello everyone, my name is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and host for Resurrect the Republic RTR Truth Radio Broadcast. I am coming to you with an emergency situation and I am not speaking on behalf of the radio show right now, nor am I speaking on behalf of Freedom Outpost right now. Right now I'm coming to you in individual capacity to bring to you a situation that is egregious and that is absolutely appalling for each and every individual in the United States of America. This is what I am talking about. Ammon Bundy's wife has come to us with a new situation and if you don't think it applies to you, it does. This should not be allowed to happen to convicted criminals nor especially individuals who have not been found guilty of any crime whatsoever. This has to be stopped and I am asking for your help in stopping that. So right now I'm going to play a message from Lisa Bundy giving us an update as to what is going on with Ammon and Ryan Bundy and her need for your help and then I'm going to go into a little bit of the situation of how you can help. Good morning everyone. Um, I have to make this quick because I got to get my kids out the door. I just walked, I just woke up. Um, I um, don't have time to sit and wait for viewers. <laughs> so hopefully you guys get this, but listen, Ammon's in trouble. Ammon, Ryan, Angie just called me, um, just barely. Ryan called her. Last night, Ammon and Ryan got thrown in the hole. Ammon has been held in a two by eight cell with shackled with his hands behind his back for 10 hours. 10 hours, you guys. Listen, please start making phone calls. The reason why he got thrown in jail was because he had an extra, I, he had a shirt on his bed. <laughs> Anyways, we, I need your, we need your help. I don't know what it's going to take. I don't know how we're going to, I don't know what, how to get God to intervene. I think at this point we need to stop demanding and try to speak to their hearts and be kind but you guys there's nothing I can do for my husband I need your help he's been in a two by eight little cell for ten hours and then Ryan stood up for him because it was a shirt on his bed they didn't feed him breakfast and Anyways, I just, I need your help. I got to make this quick because I got to get my kids out to, uh, off, out to school. But please, um, please say a prayer. Please make phone calls. We have to, fo we have to do the phone calls, you guys, or else it won't work. It won't work. Everyone needs to call. Please call. If you have time, if you have 15 minutes, call every minute on the dot. Um, they have to know that we care and that we're not going to be okay with this. Criminals, high profile criminals are thrown in solitary. This is why they have solitary, for safety reasons. But the, there's certain guards there that retaliate and they, um, they want to hurt people and they especially want to hurt Ammon and, and Ryan. And so Ryan's in regular solitary and Ammon's in a two by eight cell um, because he had a, a shirt on his bed. This is not okay. This is not okay. I'm not okay with this. Please, please, please call Perump Nevada Southern Detention Center. Talk to the warden. Talk to anyone that you, that will listen to you. Please call. Um, it's called Misty. It's um, Nevada Southern Detention Center. Um, so, uh, I don't have the number. I can't even think right now, but I need, I need your guys' help shackled for 10 hours. That means they'll leave them shackled forever until someone intervenes. Okay.
Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, so obviously these guards who are violating everybody's rights think that this is funny. So I want to bring to your attention some things. And I am talking. This is so important, guys. This is not about the Bundys. This is about every one of us. Every one of us, even high profile terrorists that have been imprisoned are not allowed to be treated like this. People throw a fit over the atrocities, me included, of how individuals have been treated at Gitmo. These are American citizens being treated worse than dogs. And if we allow it to stand for them, then we are accepting it for ourselves. You need to understand that. If we accept this for them, whether you like the Bundys or not does not matter. If you accept it being done to them, you will accept it for yourself, for your children, and for your grandchildren. This man, nor Ryan, nor any of the other political prisoners have been found guilty of any crime. They're simply awaiting trial. If this was a situation with an animal, animal services would have taken them away from the owner and charged the owners with abuse and neglect the way that they have been doing these political prisoners and the point of the matter is they have not been afforded any bond they're being held without bond they are being compared to quote unquote domestic terrorists when we have Antifa rioting and cracking people in the heads and harming people and burning things down. And they're only considered protesters. Not one of these individuals brought harm to another. Not one of them. And even if they did, they have a basic human right to be treated as a human being. So let me tell you about this Nevada detention center. It is a privately owned detention center by CCA. And I'll get into that with you in just a minute. But as you can see right here on their official site, you can see I am not making this up CCA. CCA is private. In order to contact Nevada Southern Detention Center and speak out against these atrocities under color of law, 18 U.S. 242, which I will bring up in just a moment, so that you can see, I'm going to give you different avenues to be able to call to reach out for help. We cannot stand for this. Even Hugo Chavez was not treated like this. You can contact the Nevada Southern Detention Center by calling 775-751-4500. You can fax 775-751-8763. The location, if you want to start protesting at that location, peacefully protesting at that location. It's 2190 East Mesquite Avenue, Pan Rump, Nevada, 89060. This is the facility leader and the warden, Charlotte Collins. How in the world she's allowing this to happen in her watch? Is she aware? I'll give her benefit of the doubt. Let's say she's not. Well, once we call and make her aware, then she has no excuse.
So about CCA. <laughs> The National People's Action and National Prison Divestment Campaign in 2012 provided a report titled Wells Fargo and Private Prisons, all about CCA. It says the private prison operators are profiting from the deepening immigration crisis in the United States. Companies like CCA and GEO Group have a steady growth due to the country's policy of locking up immigrants in privately managed detention facilities. These companies have spent millions to shape this policy, win contracts, and ensure that the rules are fixed in their favor at the expense of some of the country's most vulnerable people. Now, with that, I would agree, but on the same token, they don't focus on all the American citizens that have been targeted by this. It should have been of the whole, in my personal opinion, not just minorities. It continues to state these companies would not be positioned to profit from the country's immigration crisis without the help of prominent Wall Street banks. The industry is a capital intensive and requires enormous amounts of financing from banks that sit at the country's financial and economic crossroads. One bank in particular has distinguished itself from the competition as an investor in and lender to the industry. Wells Fargo. The report details the financial ties between Wells Fargo and the top private prison operators in the country, Corrections Corporation of America, also known as CCA. GEO Group and Management and Training Corp, or MTC, the information compiled in the report shows that as a lender and investor, Wells Fargo has provided critical support for the private prison industry. In fact, Wells Fargo is unique among its peers in the financial industry in having strong financial connections to the country's three largest private prison operators. That would be CCA. Wells Fargo is a major lender to Corrections Corp of America, the largest private prison company in the country, acting as the syndication agent and issuing lender on CCA's $785 million line of credit. GEO. Wells Fargo is a major investor in GEO Group, with $95.5 million invested through its mutual funds and serves as trustee for $300 million of the company's corporate debt. MTC, Wells Fargo is a lender to Management and Training Corporation. MTC is a private company, and so it is difficult to find data on its investors and lenders, but Wells Fargo is listed as a lender to MTC in a Utah UCC filing. The records reviewed for this report show that no other major bank has strong ties to each of the top three private prison companies. CCA and GEO are the top two prison operators in the country. MTC is a somewhat distant third. So what you need to understand is a private prison whom has no lawful authority over anyone is holding American citizens. Right there, partner with CCA. About CCA. I'm not even going to go into that right now because the issue is this. There is cruel and unusual punishment being done at every level in our union. Not just with the Bundys. But if we allow this to stand for one, then we allow it to stand for ourselves, our children, and our grandchildren. And we cannot allow that to happen. We need to stand and make phone calls. We need to write. We need to fax. We need to make the phones ring off of the hook. Letting them know that we are watching we are going to report and we expect something to be done and this to be stopped. I ask President Trump, you said you want to make America great again. Let's start focusing on the real Americans. Let's start focusing on the 
down and dirty of what is really going on within our union and stop with the hype of the stuff overseas. We must handle our own house before we worry about someone else's. So in order to get in touch with the White House, there's two ways. You can go to www.whitehouse.gov backslash contact backslash and you can send an email. Or if you prefer to write a letter or to call, the White House's phone number 202-456-1111 or you can call the switchboard at 202-456-1414. I'll repeat again, the phone numbers for the White House to call the President are 202-456-1111. One one. The switchboard number is two zero two four five six one four one four. You can also go to the Oversight and Government Reform Committee at oversight.house.gov backslash whistle backslash. Blow the whistle on these individuals. They may not be government employees because they are actually working for a quote-unquote private prison system, but they receive federal money, and it is about time they are pulled into the Oversight and Government Reform Committee under a solid investigation. You can go there to write the agency, the organization, the details, and give your information. Once again, that's Oversight dot house dot gov backslash whistle backslash you can also go to the Department of Justice website under the deprivation of rights under color of law which is 18 US code 242 which I referenced to earlier And as soon as it loads, you will be able to see it. Deprivation of rights under color of law. Section 242 of Title 18 makes it a crime for a person acting under a color of any law to willfully deprive a person of a right or a privilege protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States. For the purpose of Section 242, acts under the color of law include acts not only done by federal, state, or local officials, within their lawful authority, but also acts done beyond the bounds of that official's lawful authority. If the acts are done while the official is purporting or pretending to act in the performance of his or her official duties, persons acting under color of law within the meaning of this statute include police officers, prison guards, and other local and other law enforcement officials as well as judges, care providers in public health facilities, and others who are acting as public officials. It is not necessary that the crime be motivated by animus towards the race, color, religion, sex, handicap, familial status, or national origin of the victim. The offense is punishable by a range of imprisonment up to a life term or the death penalty depending upon the circumstances of the crime and the resulting injury, if any. Their constitutional rights Actually, their unalienable rights that are confirmed in the Constitution of the United States of America have consistently been violated, and now they are pushing on cruel and unusual punishment continuously. This cannot be allowed to stand in the United States of America. In order to contact the Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice, the Acting Assistant Attorney General, is Tom Wheeler. The Civil Rights Division is 202-514-4609. Once again, that number is 202-514-4609.
Also, if you want to file via contact form, you can go to www.justice.gov backslash contact dash U.S. You can contact the department by that form. I tried to find an actual phone number in order to contact Jeff Sessions himself. I cannot find that. However, there is another set of phone numbers you can call the department for a comment line is 202-353-1555. Once again, the department comment line is 202-353-1555. The Department of Justice main switchboard is 202-514-2000. The Department of Justice main switchboard, 202-514-2000. It does not matter what side of the political spe spectrum you're on. This is not okay for anyone. Illegal immigrants aren't even treated in this manner that are locked up in our country. My heart is saddened today and sickened. Will you help be that difference? Will you help call, take 15 minutes of your time to say we cannot accept this in America? I hope and pray that people will understand that without standing up for each other's unalienable rights, we ourselves will have none. Please get the word out. Please help stop this madness. Thank you. God bless you. And as always, watch your backs and check your facts. Semper Fidelis, and good night.